Um, ladies and gentlemen, please uh, help me welcome Peter Shapiro to the stage to accept his award. I got fucking Ronnie Delsner's here. Um, but it is cool. We all grew up together, all these, these uh, musicians. Uh, and uh, I want to thank everyone, obviously, at Brick, for making this possible. But I do want to say a couple things. Um, and, and I want to start with this, that everything I have done has always been in partnership with others. And that's really the simple secret for me. So much can be achieved when you collaborate. And sometimes that I actually don't wonder, I wonder why the people that run our country don't understand what's such a simple principle, especially since it's one of the first things we learn in kindergarten. Why they don't follow that, but for me, there have been and there, and there are many collaborators. My family, both my brothers I've worked with, my beautiful wife, Rebecca, who I met in the music business, my amazing kids, Roxy and Simon, my mom, who's always supported me, always from the very beginning, no matter what it was. All my partners in this room, some like Charlie Ryan I've collaborated with for, for nearly, for 20 years. Dave Fry, who was at Wetlands even before me. The Bowery guys who were there from the beginning. The Madison House guys who were there from the beginning and we did fairly well. Mike and Rachel from Relics there from the beginning. I've collaborated with so many people that are here tonight in this room and, and to do something cool together, to bring happy moments to people that they will hopefully remember for the rest of their lives. And these are important moments that we make, especially given the complicated, the stressful times we live in. This is important work. And my team, I consider you all partners as well. And without the details being handled well, we all know then stuff doesn't work. And if people don't care, the details don't happen right. And thankfully, I have been and I am surrounded by people who do care. And I, I wanted to now take a moment to, to really thank two people who couldn't be here tonight. Larry Block, who in 1996 passed the great club Wetlands on to me. And my dad, Dan Shapiro, two people that really led the path and enabled me to be here tonight. And Jerry Garcia, of course. Larry Block taught me, you can be a good person, you can be a good business person and still do good by people and have a positive impact on the planet. And after 20 years of doing this, I've learned that if you treat people right and focus on that first, the rest will follow. And Larry realized that when your time comes and you go upstairs, the money doesn't go with you. But people's memories of you, they do last. So if you announce your net worth in capital letters, like one of our political candidates right now, in the end, guess what? It doesn't matter. But I have learned a few simple lessons so far in one, is that good weather, as we're seeing tonight, it really does help make the vibe of a night better. <laughs> and focusing solely on your net worth is not really a great way to create great vibes. And I learned from Larry, I learned that and I learned that the magic is actually to thread the needle. The magic is to have a goal where the number one priority is to make people happy and then make a couple of dollars as well. And people whose priorities are the other way around, they might be successful business people, they might make more people in the short term, because that's what they're focused on, but cream rises and people can tell the difference, and the real win is to lift people. Amen. To create magic is what we all try to do, to create memorize, memories. 
And Larry Block did that in spades and wetlands, and I am forever grateful for him teaching me and showing me how it can be done and for giving wetlands to a 23-year-old. He gave it to me. I paid him over time. I didn't know anything about running a live music venue. But Larry, he was right. He saw a kid with a clean slate. He believed he could teach him. And he taught me that these venues, they're not just music venues. In a great venue, and Ronnie, you know this, in a great venue, you create a place for people to escape. You play, create a place for people to be educated. You create a place for people to grieve. The other day when, when um, Bowie passed away, when Fife passed away, when Prince passed away, when Questlove hosted those nights, those tributes to those people, those are the nights people will remember forever at Brooklyn Bowl. And you can get married. We love having the weddings. We even had a motorcycle show last week at Brooklyn Bowl. These venues are homes. They're homes for people where they meet their friends in good times and bad, obviously mostly good times. And the best ones are run by people who do what they do because they love what they do. And I learned that passion from Larry Block. I want to thank Larry Block for showing me the way. My dad, Dan Shapiro. As, as a child, you hope that your parents will support you when you tell them your dreams. My father went a step further. When 20 years ago, as a 23 year old, just out of college, I told my dad, I want to take over Wetlands, one of New York's great rock clubs, but also the biggest rock club in New York that was open seven nights a week and I was 23 and I didn't know what I was doing. That wasn't like you're going to your dad and say, I want to be a lawyer like you were a doctor. And not only did Dan Shapiro say, okay, go for it, good luck. But he stood by my side, he helped me make it happen. It wasn't money, that he, it was him. It was his knowledge, his ideas, his legal skills for which there was no better attorney, no better tactician. And because of it, no one would try to take advantage of me because they knew Dan Shapiro was watching. They knew every document, every legal document was being read by Dan Shapiro. And he read it like his son's future depended on it. And it was because of that love, that care, that attention to detail that I got from my father that I'm here today. Amen. And I also want to say there's nothing more important, as many of us know, than good counsel. That really is the key, the center of a team. So I want to say a thank you. They don't get the credit to good, great lawyers. I want to thank the lawyers in the room. There's nothing more honorable or important, it's the truth, than a good lawyer. It's always the truth. And I had the best. He was a constant presence at my side. And up until the day that he passed away in April, my dad was helping me reviewing documents, making sure I would be okay. He reviewed documents the day before he passed away. You combine that with a great dad and you have the best equation possible. So I would like to thank my father for I would not be here today without him. Thank you, dad. So I saw the new Alice in Wonderland movie this past Sunday with Roxy, and in between texting with Izzy during the movie about maybe doing a pop-up Kanye show at the bowl that night, which I'm glad we didn't do. <laughs> at nine o'clock, I said, I'm out. And they went somewhere else. Um, my daughter and I heard a great line. It stayed with me. It's, it's trite, but it's so true. The only way to achieve the impossible is to believe the possible. And, and tonight I just want to add one thing. So let's make it the only way to achieve the impossible is to believe the possible and to do it with others. Thank you.